I think the difference between being an adult and being a kid is as a kid, I could just talk about Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, RuneScape. In school, I would just talk about, you know, Pokemon and RuneScape and the other kids. I really miss being a kid because I can never really go back to being a kid again, like being a 10-year-old again. I really miss it because I sort of have to move because my parents moved me to some random town. And then in that town, basically no one was obsessed with fucking Pokemon. Well, I, I'm sure there were kids that played it. But there wasn't like, it wasn't really, like, the kids weren't as obsessed as the town we used to live in. So it was kind of annoying because I, I made friends in that town and I had to move. And um, basically the new town didn't have any kids that played RuneScape. Well, people did play RuneScape, but it was like, it, it was def definitely different. Um, I think as an adult, I'm not going to go to a 26 year old guy and say, do you play Pokemon? Like, it's, it's just less. I mean, it... <laughs> It's part of me, like, you know, you can see, like, I don't know, like, it's just less likely at this age. It's not that you couldn't enjoy it, but you probably, like, as a 26 year old man or whatever, unless you're making content on it, because that's different. Um, I do think, like, as a 26 year old dude, surprisingly, like, it's still relatively fun. Like, it's still, like, more fun than working a desk job, looking at, like, random shit that you fucking hate. Right, because no one told me. No one told me how much stress would be in actual real jobs, and like that you could get draw trauma and mental health issues and all that kind of shit, and face like like if you want to get a sense of the workplace, just read Glassdoor reviews of that company. Um. I, I yeah, I I mean I I definitely didn't expect myself to be in that situation but that's my fault um you know i'm trying to t take more accountability and trying to like um you know apparently being accountable is good which means you know you accept that it's your fault that if you're not successful or it's your fault if you're not a success because um i don't know, like i think that one of the weirdest not weird but like i'm definitely not used to it because in real life i probably only met 1,000 to 2,000 to 3,000 people, which is not a lot of human beings, but online, because with virality and social media, you have the chance to talk to people that you would probably never would have met in real life if social media didn't exist. I just didn't know about this opportunity when I was 15, right? I didn't know that... I thought YouTube would all, always exist and you could always post on it, but I didn't realize that it would become more harder over time because of the reach. It's to do with supply and demand over time. Like it's definitely, I think it's definitely more harder <laughs> when the platform matures. Like, cause if I post on YouTube now, a long form video, it only gets like zero views or three views, right? When I was a kid, when I was 15, I could just post like a Sonic X video. Like, cause I used to like Sonic X and Sonic. I could post like a theme song of it and get 30,000 views. We've seen a lot at the time, but that was really like the my most biggest view as a, as a child, as a 15 year old was basically a Roblox video, Ro Roblox opening, but you couldn't see me in the video. Also because at the time I didn't realize that how long influencers were going to be, right? So I didn't see the opportunity. I didn't know that, I didn't know that like, people can make a living fucking just talking about fucking Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or fucking like just Star Wars or anything any, anything that I didn't know you could do that right because if I fucking knew I would have fucking done it I would have done it for sure like I didn't know that you can make a living talking about fucking RuneScape or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh like if I fucking knew I would have done it sooner right like I would not have gotten a job like, I got so much trauma and mental health issues in that job. Like, I was dwelling and sad and lonely for the longest time. I just, I just felt like... I just felt like... Yeah, it just felt like... Because in school, I had so much social interaction. I didn't really have, like... Like, you know, you might have been made fun of once once or twice. But it wasn't like... I, th I think I was old protected as a child. Because everyone, like... Because... <laughs> Maybe I was like more cuter as a kid, but now I'm older. It's obviously different, right? You can't really be the same kind of shit. Uh, you can't really be adorable when you're like fucking 26. Yeah, I mean, like, it's not really the same. 
But definitely, um, yeah, I mean, I just didn't know how long the long tail of influencers was going to be. I didn't realize that you could make millions of dollars or pounds just talking about your fucking favorite show or favorite cartoon or favorite anime. Like, there's, there's tons of people that have millions of followers just talking about anime. And what the fuck? I didn't know that. I didn't know that you can make a living just talking about Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> right? Because if I fucking knew that, I would have just done that at 15 instead of fucking doing that at 24. I mean, I started... Well, technically, I was on YouTube when I was 15. I just didn't carry on because I got too addicted to game playing games. So I was like, oh, okay, my eyes are burning. And then I started getting good at school. So I thought school would be my way out. School... <laughs> School didn't really help me with real life, so I've talked about it. Um, man, I just I just wish I started so much sooner. I wish I did so much sooner instead of waiting until like I'm fucking twenty four. Because twenty four is, um, well, it's it's not super old, but it's like you know, there's there's like sixteen year old fucking influencers right now, and I could have started when I was fifteen. Like I definitely had, I think as a as a thirteen year old. I wish someone fucking filmed me when I was 13 or 11, because I had a lot of questions like, why do I have, like, a London accent? Because <laughs> I had a London accent when I was 11. Not a London accent, but, like, a Southern England accent. I went, I moved to, like, a Northern part of England, and every kid asked me about my Southern accent. Like, the, like my Cockney accent, they called it. Um. So I think, like, if I... But no one recorded... There's no, like, videos of me... As a, as a child speaking, I don't think I don't think there's many of them, which like because I would post them if I had them. I just don't have them anymore. I wish someone recorded me. <laughs> it, would, it it would probably I wouldn't say it would go viral, but it would be like an entertaining moment because I think like because there's not really much Asian kids that speak English. Um, that's recorded, right? Like there's not many of them that are really extremely famous, and but I feel like but I didn't like grow up wanting to be like famous. I just. But I did like anime. I did like Pokemon. I did like... I wouldn't say I like every anime, though. Like, as a 26-year-old dude, I'm less enthusiastic about it because I feel like most anime, like Naruto or whatever, if you watch it, but the main thing is you think that you're getting life lessons in, in the anime. I, but I can tell you as a 26-year-old dude that there's not really a lot of life lessons in anime. It's just pure entertainment. Like, I had to, like, break that to people. Because, like, because I don't want people to, like, waste their time watching, like, something that doesn't actually bring them any value. I think, um, I mean, there's definitely better content out there if you want life lessons. Like, by real people, by legit dudes, not by people that... I'm, I'm, um, I'm not against anime, though. I do think it's good children entertainment. It's good entertainment for children, not necessarily for adults, though. Hmm. I think it's good kids entertainment, not necessarily good adult ent entertainment. Um... Yeah, I think I've said a lot of stuff here. Um, so, um, I'm, I'm, you know, and I could get really deep into NFTs too. NFTs is my, the thing that I'm most, I wouldn't say the thing that I'm most enthusiastic. The reason why I like NFTs is because I feel like anyone that can, that um, is getting into NFTs right now could have their life and financial situation changed just from researching about NFTs and talking about NFTs and reading about NFTs and making friends in NFTs and looking at... If you like Pokemon, if you like RuneScape, if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! and stuff like that, you will probably like NFTs. I'm not sure if you like anime, you would necessarily like... But if you like that collecting sort of thing, um, or if you like games, you would probably like NFTs because it has a lot of gaming elements. Um, I think, like, the reason why people are doubting it is because... Like, you should not listen to, like, the headlines on NFTs. You should not listen to, like, a journal. Like, you should not read the headlines on it. You should find smart people within NFTs that are actually smart about it. Like, actual smart people that have... A, I don't know how to talk about this. Like, you should find people that, like... Um, that have a good track record, that aren't scammers, that aren't just, you know... Uh, they aren't just, like... I don't know how to talk about it, right? Like, because I feel like I'm very certain NFTs is basically social media. It's basically like, it's called it Web 3.0, the next st stage. 
like in thousand years time, this is gonna be like so fucking small. But like right now, when we are alive in the eighty years, whatever, when we are alive, I think NFTs will matter because it's basically digital assets. Like digital assets, digital things have always been around when I've been alive, or at least when I was a kid. Like I played RuneScape when I was seven. I fucking got Rune Armor when I was seven or eight years old. I could talk about this shit all. I could talk all fucking day. I just don't think many people would listen to it. But I had rune trimmed armor. No one knows what I'm talking about now. When I was like 11 years old or 10 years old, because I could grind in on RuneScape. And like rune armor is like at level 60 or like I can't remember the actual. Like it, it's like a strong armor in the free to play RuneScape. And um, I remember just like typing stuff like selling, selling uh, gold ore. Like a long time ago, like sixteen years ago, so I was I was typing that shit. Um, so I understood that, like, you know, having a high level or high powerful character within a game mattered. That's based on NFTs. Like NFTs are basically a form of communication. Um, just like why people want like the best skin in Fortnite, or like, or you why you want might want a skin in Valorant or whatever, right? Like. Why Why would you want a lot of Roblox in Roblox just to buy more different hats to show off to your friends that you have the best hat or the best costume or whatever? It's the same shit. NFTs is basically the same shit. Um, I got that when I was 11. Like, playing RuneScape actually helped me a lot with NFTs. I think, I think, um, I think if you've never played an online game, it would probably be harder to understand. If you've never collected stuff, it would be harder to understand, but... I, I I feel like I can talk long stop. I was probably just post this on YouTube, but I think if you had someone to chat with on it, it would probably do better. But um, so yeah, I I liked RuneScape a lot as a kid. Well, I think as an adult, I like it probably less. I don't think I love it as. I think the reason why I liked it is because as a seven year old, I remember the kids in school would also played it. So we were on this thing called MSN. Which is like a hotmail messenger kind of thing. I remember using that to talk to, and um, yeah, I I just remember going to um another kid's house when I was a kid. I was just talking about Zezima. Zezima is like a um, it was like a RuneScape OG that got to like level ninety nine on like multiple skills, and um, I remember going to um, it's basically a kid called Callum. Uh, when I was a kid, I went to his house and he was like, oh, do you know this dude, Zezima? And I remember him being really hyped about Zezima. Like, really hyped. They were really excited. I think we were we were like 10 years old then. I'm 26 now. Was, but like, I remember him being really hyped about it. And just, that was basically like influences. Like, it was basically like influences. Um, although, I, I think Zezima's not really a famous influencer right now because he never showed his face. So we don't know what he looks like, but he has like 40k followers on Twitch. But I think anyone that played RuneScape back in the day might recognize the name. It's basically like an influencer. Um, I think I could probably show some image. Um, but he would have been like, if you compare this to like Booger or Ninja or Fortnite, um, he's like Nat for RuneScape. Um, yeah, like if, because back in 05 or 04, we didn't really have like a mature YouTube. TikTok didn't exist. Instagram didn't really exist. So YouTube only started coming out around 06. So I, I think I started posting on YouTube when I was like 09, but I didn't go hard on it. I didn't, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that you could become your fucking career. That's why I didn't fucking know. I fucking, I fucking wish I knew that sooner. Like there were people that knew this back in 07, right? So yeah. I mean, I could talk a lot more on it, but I feel I I feel like it doesn't do it wouldn't do as well. Um, but I feel like being early to something that's going to be big is always a good idea. Like being early to Amazon, Uber, Facebook, or Tesla would have been a good a smart move. Like NFTs right now is basically not like Meta. Meta is what you called it. That's aligned to the metaverse, right? Mark Zuckerberg is is I I'm sure he's like a really smart dude. Like you, I mean, that guy. Yeah, I I don't really have much thoughts on him because I don't actually know him. 
but I'm sure he's like a smart dude, so he he's onto it too. I mean, or a lot of very smart dudes on on web phrasing. It's also why I'm interested in it because it's the first time I've found something that aligned with my former interest in RuneScape and games, and that's why I like NFTs because it's something that could potentially earn you money, and also is fun, right? It's not just some boring fucking task. But anyway, um, 